Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to create a sign up and login workflow, including user roles. So, Bubble comes pre built with a user data type, but I also went ahead and added a role as a role, which is an option set that I created, which just means that there's a predetermined list of objects that can only be altered directly from the Bubble database. So, I chose seller and buyer. You can imagine if this were some sort of e commerce site, that would be what you wanted. Now we need some sort of header from where you can sign up, log in, and log out. So to do that, I'm going to go to the components library and drag in a header and then also this sign up login pop-up. You can create these on your own, but Bubble comes pre-built with them, so I'm just going to use what's there. Now if we dissect this pop-up, we can see that there is this group login and then there's also this group sign up. So both of them are on the same pop-up, but when they are hidden, they are collapsible, which just means that you won't be able to see them. So let's set up the functionality to show the login group when this is clicked and then show the sign up group when the other one's clicked. So we are going to go to element actions and the first thing we want to do is we want to hide this group sign up. And then we can show our pop up and then show this group login. I'm going to do just copy and paste this workflow and change it for sign up. So the element is button sign up on the header and then. Instead of hiding group sign up, we are going to hide group login and then show group sign up. If we preview this, you can see that we click login, and actually, that is some sort of bug because we are very clearly hiding group sign up. But actually, what we want to do is we want to go here and make it not visible on page load. Now, if we preview this, we should be able to get our desired result. So login, we see the login flow, and then sign up, we see the sign up one. And then it already, if you're using the template, it already comes pre-built with this functionality to switch between the two. But if you're making this on your own, we can just see that it is hiding the wrong group and then showing the correct one. Now let's set up the functionality to actually be able to sign up. So on the button sign up, we want to add a workflow. We are going to go to account and then sign the user up. The email is just going to be this input sign up emails value. And then the password is going to be input sign up passwords value. Since both the login and sign up have the same inputs, essentially, you need to make sure that you're accurately naming it so that you don't get confused between the two. Now we don't want to require a password confirmation or send an email to confirm the email. And we can just say no to remembering the email. Now that that's done, we can just hide the pop-up. We want to do the same thing for the login button. Except we want to log the user in. We are going to use this input login email and then input login password. And then just hide that pop up. I also want to add something here to the header so that when you are logged in, you don't see these buttons, but instead you see a sort of logout button. Now I can always add a button here, but this blog is actually a button and I don't really need navigation for this. So I'm just going to change this to a logout button. I'm going to give it a flat color. Maybe this dark blue is nice. And then I can give, make the text white. I also want to make it not visible on page load and only visible when the current user is logged, is logged in. So 
then they can log out. I'm going to add the same conditional visibility on this login button and the sign up button. So we need to make sure it's not visible on page load and then add the condition when the current user is logged in, is logged out, this element is visible. We're using the same condition for both login and sign up. So I'm going to copy paste that. Now, if we preview this, we can go to sign up and we can create an account. and sign up just one and we can see that it is what we want but actually on the sign up button we are having some issues and that's because we did make it visible on page load and now it's got the logout just on this button we can really quickly add the functionality to log out and that will just be under account log the user out bubble makes it really easy to do this now let's alter our pop-up to actually be displaying what we want for example for sign up we don't need this re-enter password but what we do need is a option to switch between user roles now since we don't need a name either whoops i'm just going to go ahead and add a group here for the user roles instead of this input for the name. So uh, here, and we can call it group roles. Also going to delete that original input. Now within this, I'm going to add two groups, which will just be almost like buttons that you can fluctuate between. So this can be group seller. And then we can make the other one group fire. And I'm just going to give both of them a type of content, which is going to be a role. And this one will be seller. And this one will be buyer. Whoops, mix those up. Now I'm going to add in a background style, just a flat color to make that blue. And then we can change the color based on which user role is currently selected. Add the same thing in here. Now in the middle, I want to add we text inside the group. I'm really not focusing on styling here, if you couldn't tell, just mainly the functionality. And then we can make this a dynamic data and it's going to show the parent group's roles display, which is a fancy word for the name of an option set. I'm going to just copy paste that text and we'll see that here. Now we want to be able to toggle between these two values. And to do that, we need to somehow store which role the user has currently selected for the time being. So on this group roles, we are going to add a custom state, which is going to be basically a variable that lives on this particular group. And we're going to call it role and it's going to be of type role. I'm going to make its default value buyer. And then the user can switch between them. So I'm going to add a conditional here and it's going to be when the group roles role is this group's role. Then, sorry, not this element is visible, but we are going to make the background color much darker. I'm going to copy that same condition and paste it on group seller. And since we made it dynamic, we're not actually ever typing out seller or buyer again, it will work for both. Now we need to alter some things on the signup flow. And then also 
when this button is clicked, button seller is clicked, we want to set the state of our group roles. And we're going to set role equal to parent equal to this group's role. I'm going to copy and paste that workflow. And instead of group seller, we can make it group buyer. Now on the sign up button, we can take this role into account. Now on the sign the user up, there's no real option to actually alter fields on the user. So what we need to do is we need to go to data things and then we want to make changes to a thing. And what we're gonna change is current user. Given that they're currently logged in, it will save properly. And we want to make the role that group roles role, which is where we're storing the current role that they're on. I'm going to add that over here. And then that should work. If we preview this now, You can see that we can log out and that works how we want and then we can sign up as a we're currently on a buyer and then we can switch to seller and that would be exactly how we would set that up i hope this was helpful thank you